case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 2000 case State v. Moon, heard by the Maine Supreme Judicial Court, John R. Moon faced charges of theft after transferring funds without authorization from the Row Row chapter of Sigma Chi fraternity, where he functioned as treasurer, director of fundraising, project manager, and live-in resident advisor. Moon used the funds primarily to renovate a townhouse in Bangor, eventually returning over $100,000, but still owing $19,972.41. The defendant argued that he never intended to keep the money and always planned to repay the fraternity. The lower court allowed only part of Moon's expert witness's testimony and consolidated two indictments against him for theft. Moon contended that the court gave incomplete instructions to the jury, but the court disagreed. Evidence of Moon's bankruptcy filing and failure to repay the funds was found relevant to prove his intent to deprive the fraternity of the funds, eventually leading to a guilty verdict on the theft charges. Upon appeal, the higher court affirmed Moon's theft conviction and judgment. The court held that evidence showed Moon intended to deprive the fraternity of funds, and his intention to repay was irrelevant. Additionally, the court found that the jury instructions adequately described the charges and elements of the crime. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.